Hello, Leslie. Uh, my name is Bryce. I'm with Little Big Marketing. I believe you spoke with my colleague Mark uh, about making an attack plan and how SEO works and how it can bring you even more business and leads to your already established website and Google business profile. Uh, so real quick, I just wanted to go over your website and explain a little bit about how SEO works and how we could drive even more traffic there. Uh, so first off, I was just taking a look at your website and your Google business listing. Um, there's lots of different ways people can find an architect online, but one of the main ways is by searching on Google, architect companies in Los Angeles or wherever their specific search is. Uh, you want to be appearing in all of these search results. So this is the PPC, the pay-per-click side of the results. We also run these for our clients as well. Um, then this is the Google business profiles or the Google map pack. Uh, getting in here is really, really important for people who are specifically looking for architects. Uh, usually notice the competitors that are ranking don't have a ton of reviews either. So it's actually a pretty low hanging fruit. Uh, you only have 31, which isn't a ton, but you know the one that has the most is only 41. So it should be pretty easy to bump these guys out of the top three spots to get some more calls. Uh, this is also based on proximity though. So maybe these ones are closer to the center of the city. Uh, so it might be a little bit more work to rank you across the whole city. Uh, just depends on you know wh where you at and, and how much work we have to do to rank you but that's a great opportunity right there uh, the next thing is the organic search results which is where the websites rank uh, if we click on one of these the top ranking websites we can look in one of my tools to see how much traffic it's bringing in so this is a refs it kind of just tells you all about how the website is ranking uh, how much traffic it has and what keywords it's ranking for so this one page uh, 25 best architecture firms in Los Angeles it gets 1800 traffic per month. It looks like it just is increasing in rank. It says it went up 978 uh, semi recently from these 140 keywords. So let's look at what keywords they're ranking for. These are the things that people are searching into Google Los Angeles architecture firms that get searched 350 times every single month. They're in position number one. And so this tool is estimating that they get around uh, 300. 80 people clicking on their site from it. Architect Los Angeles gets 30, 350 times a month, etc. You can see all of these different keywords. So the idea would be is you want to include all of these different keywords inside of the content of the website that you're trying to rank. So if we're trying to rank this home page of your website, we'd want to include, you know, uh, Architect Los Angeles, for example, this keyword somewhere on uh, the page, which doesn't doesn't really have the keywords in there a ton of times yet. Let's see how many times it says Los Angeles. Yeah, only once. That's uh, could be improved for the keyword density. Now let's take a look at how your site is ranking currently. So all of the pages on your site, uh, this tool is estimating around a thousand monthly traffic. Uh, that might be higher though. It, it, it doesn't know exactly how much you have, but it does know your rankings. So let's look at what you're ranked at. Easyplans.com. But yeah, this one page was getting around 1,800 traffic a month as their estimate, and then uh, your full website is getting a level around 1,100 traffic per month. So there's definitely a lot of room to improve and to grow uh, even more traffic. Uh, let me just pause this while my computer loads since it's been a little bit slow. These are the keywords that you're currently ranking for with your website. So you're ranking this blog post is your um, highest ranking uh, keyword right now, ADU California, which is a really big phase. Uh, if you guys are selling ADUs, that's awesome. There's a lot of opportunity out there for that because it's getting searched 1,500 times every single month. Right now you're in position number five, but if you were in position number one, you'd probably be getting around 500 traffic a month just from that one keyword. Easy plans. Uh, this is a branded keyword, California ADU, ADU laws. It looks like most of these are for ADUs, which is a great market. Let's look up an ADU competitor. ADU maker in Los Angeles. So we can look at some of their keywords as well. Wow, lots of Google ads. That's awesome. Let's check out. I'm not sure if I chose the best keyword. But let's just look at some of the other com competitors and what their uh, traffic looks like. Backyard dwelling unit. Oh, that's a great keyword. Uh, 
So this column here, this is keyword difficulty. It's how competitive the keywords are to rank. So if you notice, all of these are green. They're a little bit lower. If it's under 10, it's not going to be that hard to rank. It won't take as long. Uh, some of these higher ones that are yellow and red, uh, those take a lot longer to rank because there's a lot of other uh, SEO companies and other uh, ADU companies that are trying to rank for those terms. So usually when we're first starting, we'll try to go for these, you know, number one keywords uh, that are really easy to rank and then rank some of those and then build momentum and rank uh, even more supporting keywords until you're able to rank for the really hard keywords as well. But yeah, uh, if you look, let's look at uh, their website and just see what keywords they're trying to target on their site. I'm really curious about uh, if you have ADU on your site much. Only once, huh? ADU, six times. So they're definitely targeting ADU in their homepage um, with their content. After your, we would uh, optimize your website for the keywords that we're trying to target, each page would have its own optimized keyword, maybe a couple of supporting keywords. The next thing to do is make sure that all the on-page SEO is good. So like saving the, the keyword, uh, the photos correctly, making sure the page website loads quickly, which right now is a little bit of an issue. Uh, right now, I think on mobile, you guys aren't performing super well, super quickly. Uh, it's doing okay on desktop though. So that's another thing you can improve for the on-page SEO. Uh, once the on-page SEO and everything is all set and super solid, the next thing to do is get backlinks. Uh, there's two main kind of backlinks. One is called citations, which uh, really help rank your Google business listing. And then the other types are uh, backlinks that go to your website. And I'll show you those in a little bit. Uh, these are just some examples of backlinks or citations for architect com companies. Um, you don't necessarily have to get the UK ones, but architectusa.com, architectindex.com, buildersyellow.com, all of these that are related to your industry, you want to get your business listed in every single directory and what we call citation, social profiles even, that's relevant to your, your business and your industry. Because people will be looking for those type of companies on these websites. And being in more of the websites tells Google that your company is legit. And so they'll rank you even higher in Google Maps and on Google Search. It gives you more authority when you're in lots of them. Uh, so that's the first step we do when we do SEO. The next step is we go through and we try and create backlinks, which pretty much what a backlink is, is it's your website being linked to by another website. So for example, let me just show you what backlinks you guys already have. I heard that uh, Mark was saying that you have somebody doing SEO for you already. So I imagine you would have a lot of quality backlinks. Um, but let's take a look real quick. Uh, your metrics for the website aren't super impressive. So maybe they're not doing a whole lot of backlink building in their SEO package. I'm not sure what, what exactly you're paying for. Um, but let's take a look. Youngkins. So if we look one link per domain do follow, which are the most important type of backlinks. Uh, these are the backlinks you have. You have what's the total 155 do follow backlinks. Easyplanusa.com, architect.net. Oh, that's a pretty good backlink. Uh, so not all of them are super good, like, uh, but some of them are decent. You just want to make sure that they're relevant to your industry. You want to make sure that they're in English. Uh, do follow backlinks are better than not do follow backlinks. Uh, if it has a lot of traffic going to it, then it's a lot better. So there's a lot of different ways we can measure the metrics. If we look at one of your competitors, this unitdwelling.com, you can see that they have way more backlinks than you. Uh, instead of 150, they have around 2,000. And so what we would do when we do SEO is we go through the competitors' websites and we try and find the best quality backlinks, and then we try to recreate them and point them to your website. So a backlink might be uh, we have to write an article for another company, and then they link back to your site, or we create a press release about your company, and they link to your site. Or all there's lots of different tactics that we use to get these types of backlinks. But it's essentially reverse engineering Google, figuring out what is making these other sites rank, and then getting your site to rank just as high or even higher. Uh, so that's the opportunity, especially with uh, an industry like ADU. I think SEO is a fantastic way to market it uh, because there's so much new search traffic uh, going on. So I would highly recommend talking to Mark again soon and figuring out how we can best work together to uh, get you ranking um, even better than 
you know, these guys with 15,000 traffic a month. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.